Here's what you need to know to start using recommendations in Kit so other creators can grow your list for you. From the dashboard, we'll go to Grow Recommendations. There's obviously a lot we could look at here on the recommendations page, but let's start by adding a recommendation. When you add a recommendation, you're taken to the Discover tab. And here in the Discover area, you can see Featured Creators, Shared Connections, which are creators who are recommended by people you already recommend, creators you subscribe to, which are newsletters you read that are part of the network, creators who subscribe to, which are members of your audience who are creating content too, and creators who are recommending you. And we've made it easier to identify great creators to recommend. Look for the orange circle that indicates a consistent creator status. These creators are actively sharing content and they're prioritizing the network. If you see a blue ring, that means the creator is growing fast. Now let's talk for a minute about who to recommend. It's a common misconception that you don't want to recommend other creators who are in the same category as you because there's only so many subscribers to go around and maybe you're sharing similar information. But actually, working together can really help you both grow your audiences. It's likely you're saying something a little bit different than the other person and everyone enjoys a different voice on a similar topic. So it's great to pair up with those who are doing something similar to you. But you can also pair up with creators who are doing something that adds to what you're all about. For example, let's say that you're doing a food blog and somebody else is doing a blog about drinks. Food and drinks go great together. And so you could pair up with that other creator and recommend each other because it's likely your audiences will overlap and they'll enjoy the content from both of you. When you recommend someone, they'll get a notification. If you feel like this particular creator is a good strategic partner, it's a good idea to reach out through email or social media to let them know you're recommending them and see if you'd be a good fit for their audience as well. Then you can cross promote each other and share the growth. To see the creators you're recommending, go to my recommendations. Here you can see a list of all the creators you're currently recommending. And if you're recommending each other, that'll show up in the status too. You can see the total number of views each creator has from your recommendation, how many subscribers they've received and what that conversion rate looks like. You can also see a cumulative review of all the creators you're recommending, 15 here, the total number of views, total number of subscribers those creators have received, and the conversion rate. To see what creators are recommending you, Go to recommending me, and here you'll see a similar list of creators, but these are creators who are specifically recommending you. If you are recommending each other, you'll see that in the status, just like you did on the My Recommendations page. You also see the total number of views you've received from that creator, total number of subscribers and conversion rates, and up here at the top, you'll see that same cumulative review. One thing to note here is the conversion rate. If you look at this conversion rate percentage, this gives you a good idea of how well your profile is performing in a creator network. If we go up here to the top right and we go to settings, you can edit your profile here. Typically this first sentence or so is what people are gonna see when you're recommended in the network. So make sure that that tells who you are, what you're about and what people can expect. Also make sure your creator type is dialed in to match you exactly and also the topics as well. Under the my recommendations area, you can edit what landing pages and forms are showing your recommendations. You can also decide if these are enabled by default when you create a new form or landing page. And you can also just share a list of your recommendations with somebody by copying this link. Let's go back to the recommending me page and we'll take a closer look at one of these creators. For example, the person who sent over the most recommendations here is design.dev. So let's click here and see who's recommending them and who they're recommended by. This is a very interesting view to look at. You can find other creators who might be similar to you based on this. If they're recommended by these creators, then that might be somebody to take a look at and see if you match up. Now, everything we've talked about here is free recommendations, but there are also paid recommendations. Check for a link in the description to see how to set that up. One tab we haven't looked at in recommendations is the subscribers tab. Here in the subscribers tab, you can see the total subscribers that have been recommended to you, the average open rate of those subscribers, the average click rate of those subscribers, and what percentage of subscribers recommended to you unsubscribe. Down below, you'll see a list of all the subscribers who are recommended to you, including who recommended them, when they were recommended, and their current status on your list. So now that you've got those recommendations in place, you'll wanna send some automated welcome emails to those new subscribers. To do that, you'll wanna learn all about sequences and visual automations. In this video right up here, which is our full deep dive kit tutorial. The tutorial you just watched is actually part of the full tutorial. So when you head over there, use the timestamps in the description to find the section on sequences and visual automations. I'll see you over there.